Now let's talk about uh, finding equations of lines. Uh, a line is composed of two points <coughs> and the connection between them. That's just a regular straight line. So let's draw out our Cartesian plane here again. And uh, let's just draw a line like this. So what is the equation of that line? Well, we don't really know right now. Right now, We know a few points on it. Let's say this was all drawn out accurately so you can see. But we know that this point here and this point here are definitely two points on that line, and that's what we're going to start with. Let's say this is um, negative 1, 0, and this is 0, 1. Okay, those are our two points. How do we find the equation of this line in the form y equals mx plus b? Let's talk about that first. y here is just the variable y in the equation. m equals the slope of the line and b is equal to the y-intercept. Okay, So this is slope-intercept form. Um, how do we find out what m is? Well, it's actually quite easy. If m is here, all we say is it's x2 minus x1. Oh, sorry, why that? It's y2, y is on the top here. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's just plug in our points. We've got these two values here, so this is going to be x1, y1, and this is going to be x2, y2. So y2 is 1, so this is going to be equal to 1 minus 0 over 0 minus a minus 1, which is going to be equal to 1 over 1, which is just equal to 1. So our slope is 1, so we found the slope. Now what's the y-intercept? Well, the y-intercept is just where it interacts with the graph. It hits right here, we say, okay, we know that point in y is 1, so b must be equal to 1. With this equation, we know that this line is our basic, basic graph. y equals 1x plus 1, so it's just y equals x plus 1. This is the equation of our graph that we just solved for using the slope-intercept form. Let's solve for it another way. So I'm just going to write this down here so we don't remember. Don't forget, I mean, y equals x plus 1. So the next one is, we can use this one called y2 minus y1 equals m onto x2 minus x1. This is very helpful because sometimes you can't tell the y-intercept directly. It might be 1.36 when it looks like 1.4, so you're not sure what it is. Let's plug the points in, and it works every time. So y2 is going to be, uh, just one second, it should be not that equation. Oh, my bad. You only need one point in the slope. It's y minus y1 equals m onto x minus x1. Like that. Because we need the variables. We can't have y2 and y1 because that's just two points. I was thinking the slope. Um, so we found the slope already to be 1. But now we just plug in our points. So y, mi equal, ugh, y minus y1 is 0 equals m, which is 1, onto x minus x1, which is negative 1. So minus negative 1. This becomes y equals 1, which is just 1, x plus 1. So that's the same formula. So we found it through the slope-intercept form and uh, the point-slope form. And we found the slope. So that's basically everything you need to know to find basic graphs. Let's do one more really quick, because this is a really important concept. So let's have our Cartesian blade again. Pick two points, like this. The slope here, we can say, is going to be negative automatically, because the rise, how much the point is rising from left to right, is less, is a negative number, and the run is positive. So that's what it is basically. Slope is m, which is equal to the rise in points over the run. You can also think of it as, if this were a hill and you were sliding down it, it'd be negative. You're going in down, that's bad, it's negative. If you're going up, that's good, it's positive. So let's talk about these two points here. I'm going to label them here. So we've got point A, point B. This is, let's say, negative, uh, negative 2, comma, 1. And B is 3, comma, negative 3. So we want to find the slope between these two things first. That's very important which is just y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 
this is equal to y2, so this is point 0.2, we'll say, y2 is negative 3 minus y1, which is 1, over x2, which is 3, minus x1, which is negative 2. So minus minus 2 is plus 2, which gives us negative 4 over 5. So that's our slope. For every 4 it goes down, it goes to the right, 5. Let's put that in our slope-intercept form. We can't tell here, though, what the intercept is for the y-axis. That's why it's nice to use our uh, point-slope form. So we have y minus y1 equals m onto x minus x1. So let's work this out. We've got, let's choose our point. We'll say we'll choose this point for now. So we've got y minus 1, because that's y1, equals m onto x minus x1, minus a minus 2. Don't forget, you have a minus sign. This minus sign and this minus sign are the same, so they have to go and be multiplied. So this is y minus 1 equals m, which is negative 4 fifths, onto x plus 2. Let's multiply this out and bring our 1 over. So we've got y equals negative 4 over 5 x plus 2, and then we can bring our 1 over to be plus 1, like that. So let's combine this together. We get y equals negative 4 fifths x plus 3. Uh, now, does that make sense? No, it doesn't, because 3 would be too high. It wouldn't be here. When I brought my negative 1 over... No, that should be fine. Maybe I'm just trying it wrong. So we got y minus y1 equals m1 to x minus x1. Let's just check this. y minus the point here, so y minus 1 equals m negative 4 fifths onto x minus x1, which is 2. Brings us to here. We have our y minus 1 equals negative 4 fifths x. We bring it over there. Ah, here's the problem. I didn't bring the negative 4 fifths x onto the 2. So 2 times negative 4 fifths becomes negative 8 fifths plus 1. And 1 is 5 over 5. So we get plus 8, oops, not plus, minus 8 over 5 plus 5 over 5. So minus 8 plus 5 is going to be negative 3. We get y equals negative 4 fifths x minus 3 over 5. So our intercept, our y-intercept, is actually negative point, excuse me, negative point 0.6, right there. So it was hard to guess what it was, but through this formula we found it. So that's how you solve for equations of lines on graphs with two points given.